collections, digital collections, collection guides, and catalogues. With its history spanning more than four centuries, Leiden University Libraries has acquired vast and diverse collections. The research collections testify to the many disciplines that have developed at the university. The website describes all these collection clusters or domains on a more general level in subject guides. The same has been done for Leiden's famous special collections, which are defined by a combination of criteria, such as resource type, date, origin and language. Let's take a look at an example. The drawings of Leiden University Libraries. The university has been collecting prints and drawings since 1815, when it established the Printenkabinet to support the study of art history. The ongoing acquisition of items and private collections during two centuries resulted in rich holdings. They have been kept at the library since 2002. For its special collections, the library aims to provide information about the items and, when applicable, about the collections it has acquired. The catalogue contains records that describe thousands of items from the special collections, such as a drawing of Paul Damstey, titled Drie keer diagonal. But there are also records in the catalogue that inform users about the hundreds of collections many of the items belong to, linking to so-called collection guides. In this case, the Domstead drawing is part of an ensemble that was donated by the private collector Piet Cleveringa in 1973. Information about the Piet Cleveringa collection is available in a collection guide. The metadata is in the catalogue. The collection guide itself is a digital born document, XML, and is therefore part of digital collections. Clicking on the link will direct users to the corresponding collection guide. Every collection guide has a table of contents with an identical set of chapters. An abstract in English and Dutch, information about the provenance of the collection, about the contents of the collection and the way it is structured, user instructions, related materials, literature, and to conclude, subject headings. Many collection guides contain an inventory, listing all the items that belong to this collection. Over 300 collection guides provide information about archives of individuals or institutions. In most cases, they contain an inventory, listing all the archival documents. In the last two decades, Leiden University Libraries has digitized thousands of its prints, drawings, photographs, books and other materials. These digital items, with metadata of their own, are incorporated in a new database and organized into digital collections that give the repository its name, Digital Collections. The digital version of the Dumpstay drawing is part of the digital collection Drawings in the Print Room. Every digital collection has its own introduction page. In the Leiden repository, it is possible that one and the same digital item may belong to more than one digital collection. Take, for instance, the illustrated codex of Der Naturen Blume, a Dutch work on natural history by Jacob van Maarland. This digital item is part of two digital collections. It is part of a broad digital collection containing all digital versions of handwritten materials from both East and West, produced from the early Middle Ages until the present time. It also belongs to a second and more focused digital collection, containing only digital versions of Western medieval manuscripts. The items in this collection are the counterparts of manuscripts, kept in several long-standing collections, such as the Codices Ablangiani, the Codices Perazoniani, and others, each described in its own collection guide. If a digital collection mirrors an archive, 
in part or in its entirety, its introduction page will refer to the corresponding collection guide. Let's take a look at an example. The Bates Papers, the personal archive of a famous Dutch literary author. The Bates Archive is completely digitized. The corresponding collection guide contains an inventory, not only listing all the separate items, but also linking to the digital items. In this case, the autograph of a romantic poem, Guy de Vlaming, dating from 1836. Since the collection guides are digital themselves, they have been placed in their own digital collection. Clicking on the Show All Items tile will direct the users to an overview of collection guides. An alternative way to search for relevant collection guides is to search the metadata of the catalog. Leiden's collecting history is reflected in several hundreds of library catalogues that have been published since the nomenclator in 1575, the first ever printed catalogue of a public library collection. They form a thematic collection of their own and are described in a separate collection guide with an inventory listing all the library catalogues of the Leiden holdings. Every entry links to a print copy and a digital version when available. The digital versions of many library catalogues form a digital collection with its own introduction page in Digital Collections. A wealth of meta-information.